हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग आई एम डॉक्टर दाफड़ा एंड इन दिस थर्ड एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो क्लास ऑफ डीआईपी वी विल लर्न फंडामेंटल स्टेप्स इन डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग वाई दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो क्लास यू विल स्टडी इन शॉर्ट ऑल द डिफरेंट प्रोसेसिस और ऑल द डिफरेंट चैप्टर्स दैट यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग सो लेट एस स्टार्ट so this figure shows the fundamental steps of digital image processing so rather than calling them steps we should call them different stages or branches or areas of digital image processing why because when we perform digital image processing we may not require all the steps right and we may require few depending on our application or outcomes the steps or stages shown here convey all the methodologies that can be applied to image for different purposes right the block shown here are showing the operations we perform on the image our task may require at least two of all these steps right why two of all these steps because very first step that is image acquisition or image capturing will always be required by default because you want to do image processing right and second thing after image capturing you may do image enhancement or you may not do image enhancement and you may do image restoration or you may do morphological processing or you may do segmentation or object recognition or combination of different steps but at least two steps will be required right mm -hmm. so the fundamental stages or steps in digital image processing are seven one Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right, and other two steps which are shown over here are the optional steps, but you can consider these also as very important steps. Right. So let us start with the problem domain. Right. So the knowledge about a problem domain is coded into an image processing system. Okay. For example, say you want to capture. the happiness of a kid who is eating ice cream right so that is your problem domain getting it and that you have to capture using image acquisition right and what is knowledge base the knowledge base controls the interaction between different modules of an image processing system right this knowledge base will be controlling the interaction between different modules of this complete image processing system or image processing steps okay so let's go ahead and see the first stage that is image acquisition so remember everything is there in the name what is the meaning of acquisition acquisition means to acquire or to obtain right so image acquisition means to obtain the image right so it is basically capturing an image using cameras this acquisition is governed by problem domain the nature of object under imaging and the nature of images define the problem domain for example say for capturing x rays we need x ray imaging for bacteria and viruses we need microscopic cameras for surveillance we may need infrared cameras etc right generally the image acquisition stage involves pre processing such as digitization scaling etc why scaling because the size acquired by the camera may be greater or smaller and we want to scale it down to some other level right and why digitization because uh, the image that is captured by the camera may not be in the digital form it may be a analog image then you have to convert that particular analog image in the digital form or digital image why because we are doing digital image processing okay so see here you want to capture this particular object so light is falling on that object and is reflected that is captured by the sensing element or camera and is falling on the image plane so this particular image is a analog image right once you convert this particular image into digital image this form of image will be formed which will be consisting of different pixels right see here the object to be captured is present here which is captured by the camera okay and using that camera you capture the happiness of a kid who is eating a ice cream like this okay so that is image acquisition let's go ahead and understand the second stage that is image enhancement so what is the meaning of enhancement 
एनहांसमेंट मीन्स इंप्रूवमेंट और इंक्रीज इन क्वालिटी राइट सो इमेज एनहांसमेंट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ फिल्टरिंग इमेज दैट इज रिमूविंग नॉइस और इंक्रीजिंग कॉन्ट्रास्ट एक्सेट्रा टू इंप्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ द इमेज द रिजल्टिंग इमेज विल बी मोर सुटेबल देन द ओरिजिनल इमेज सो दिस इमेज एनहांसमेंट इज सब्जेक्टिव वाई बिकॉज इट डिफर्स फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन ओके सम पर्सन मे लाइक मोर ब्राइटनेस एंड सम अदर पर्सन मे लाइक मोर कॉन्ट्रास्ट सो इट डिपेंड्स फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन इट वेरीज फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन एंड देर फॉर इट इज सब्जेक्टिव गेटिंग इट राइट सी हियर this image is having a very low contrast a very dull image okay so after enhancement you obtain a enhanced image which is having very good contrast like this right similarly see over here this image is a dark image okay that does not uh, show the happiness on the face of the kid properly right so you want to increase the brightness over here so after increasing or after enhancing the image such will be the image where you can see the captured image properly so after image enhancement the picture is more pleasing to our eye okay let's go ahead and see the next stage that is image restoration so what is the meaning of restoration restoration means to bring to its original condition right to restore right so image restoration is the process of improving the appearance reducing the blurring noise etc of an image by mathematical or probabilistic models so restoration is objective why because there is only one way to restore and that is using the mathematical models or probabilistic models right it is not subjective it depends on the computer or mathematical models so see the image over here this image is consisting of noise and is not clear okay so after removing the noise the image becomes clear or restored like this see the image over here here there is noise in this image and the image is not clear and after image restoration we obtain restored or crisp clear picture or image like this let's go ahead and understand the next stage that is morphological processing so what is the meaning of morphology morphology means structures or shape right so morphological processing is the process for extracting image components or structures or shapes that are useful in the representation and description of the shape the process involves erosion dilation opening and closing right what is the meaning of erosion erosion means to remove right for example soil erosion the soil is removed right so erosion removes pixels on object boundaries while what is dilation dilation means to add or to dilute right so dilation adds pixels to the boundaries of object and opening and closing techniques can be used to find different shapes in an image right for example see the image over here here you cannot see the fingerprint properly right so you can perform different set operations like intersection union addition subtraction etc to obtain a clear image of the finger prints right see here this original image if you dilate this image that is if you add the pixels to this image this image will become like this if you remove the pixels from the boundaries the eroded image will be looking like this and this will be the image that you will be obtaining using the opening and closing morphological operations let's go ahead next is image segmentation so what is the meaning of segmentation segmentation means to segment or to divide into different parts right so it is the process of partitioning the image into multiple segments or image objects image segmentation is typically used to locate objects and boundaries for example say line curves etc in images in image segmentation the computer tries to separate objects from the image background and image segmentation is one of the most difficult task in digital image processing do the segmentation are of different types like autonomous segmentation rigid segmentation which is a very long process to get successful solution and erratic segmentation which will be learning in detail as we go ahead in this subject for example see the image over here you want to segment or separate out these two objects from this image right 
but you can see in this image that uh, the shadow is also visible uh, for this particular second object or cross right so after doing image segmentation you can separate out the objects like this without the shadow right here both the objects are separated out and even you can see in the graph right so what we are doing in this segmentation is we are converting into black and white image or we are thresholding the image right and after thresholding we can separate out different parts of the image so you can see over here we can separate out different components of this image after thresholding like this after thresholding we can separate out the ice cream the display board etc let's go ahead and understand object recognition so again everything is there in the name what is the meaning of recognition recognition means finding out so you want to find out any particular object from the image is known as object recognition so object recognition is the process that assigns a label for example display board to an object based on its description right so this image shows the segregation of iris flowers based on the petal length and petal width and you can separate out different types of iris flowers right similarly see over here here we are assigning a label to this display board okay and this display board will be recognized by the image processing algorithm it can be recognized even in the color image or we can convert the color into grayscale image and then also recognize the object of our interest right so next stage is representation and description what is the meaning of representation representation means showing and description means explaining right so representation and description involves representing an image in various forms so representation deals with converting the data into suitable form for computer processing and description deals with extracting attributes or features right so representation can be of two types that is boundary representation which focuses on the external shape characteristics such as corners and regional representation that focuses on internal properties such as textures and skeletal shape right so this is boundary representation which you can see here okay and this one is regional representation right and description or feature selection helps in extracting useful information right for example for this particular image we can find out the boundary representation like this and after this boundary representation we can even extract the features using description getting it okay let's go ahead and understand image compression right what is the meaning of compression compression means to reduce in size so image compression involves the techniques for reducing the size of the image with minimum deterioration in its quality image compression saves disk space for storage and also saves bandwidth required for transmission and reception so nowadays image compression is very very important why because we are transmitting large amount of color images through the computer right and the cameras which are present today gives a very high resolution image so if you do not compress it the size of that image is very very large right so it will require very large storage space for storing it and also it will require very large bandwidth for transmitting it and therefore image compression is very important nowadays so here the figure shows different sizes of the compressed images right you can see here this one is the original image which is not compressed and this is the image that is obtained after 50 percent compression so you can see both the images both are almost identical you cannot distinguish which one is compressed one right and that is the advantage of image compression let's go ahead and understand color image processing so color image processing means to process the color images and it has become more popular since the use of digital images has increased right color is the most visually striking feature of any image and color image processing is more famous as it is used in the internet medical and industrial applications so color image processing handles the image processing of colored images either as indexed image or rgb images using different color models such as rgb color model hsi color model etc see the figure over here which is a grayscale image and you cannot find out the useful information from this grayscale image rather if you convert this grayscale image into such color image you can find out very useful information from this image 
getting it right you can see here this is the original image in which we have increased the color proportion and you can see after color processing it has become more visually appealing the color of this ice cream has become dark as well as the color of the shirt has become dark and attractive so that is color image processing so these are all the different steps or stages in digital image processing that will be learning in detail in this particular subject so that is all for this video lecture i hope you would have gained a good knowledge from this video lecture in the next video lecture we will study image sensing and acquisition thank you very much